With its independently articulated legs and ability to traverse challenging surfaces, this is the aptly named Spider, one of the latest prototypes to come out of this robotics lab in Western Australia. Now, this spider is not going to win any land speed records, but what it will do once it emerges from its lab here in Western Australia is spin an extra layer of safety to complex inspection jobs in industries like defence and mining and oil and gas. And it is just one of a suite of robotic solutions being created here at Nexus. The Nexus office is not dissimilar to many commercial factory units. What's unique is what's going on inside. That will blow you away. And it's the brainchild of this man. We started in 2014 and this was just really the start of robotics coming into industry for oil and gas and mining sites. And the thing was is that those robots were just really around looking and they were very limited in what they were capable of doing. And our clients just wanted more and more and they wanted big, better outcomes. So we needed to really modify, design, build, and then we actually just moved into manufacturing based on needs. Never content with supplying your average robotic solution to maintenance issues, Jason has a reputation for creating custom-made solutions and for thinking outside the box, way outside the box. Fundamentally, what we've done along the way is every time we built a custom pro project, um, we've listened to the customer's needs right at the front and then we've delivered a custom working robot in the field. And every time we do that, we create a little bit of technology, uh, which we call the technology stack. And over time, we've created a multitude of, of modules that are now like Lego and can be plugged together. So it ends up being that we can basically reconfigure a Lego box of parts into pretty much anything we like really quickly. Making these robots requires a serious amount of skills, so to expedite the process, he bought a manufacturing business, 6D, which is all about rapid prototyping. Rapid prototyping is really about how to accelerate design, develop and build processes. It's about failing really quickly and knowing that the, that's not the way to go and then shifting very quickly and moving into a different direction and still deliver an outcome. Um, and what it does is it's, it's a very methodical process in innovating. Jason is a new breed of robotic engineer and he's both inspiring and encouraging those behind him. So what we do is we give people an opportunity from apprenticeships right the way through to engineering roles and we start by working with the universities and TAFEs to do that. What we've done is try to really develop an a innovative culture, right? I think that when, uh, when you're designing, you have to be open to the idea that yours is not the best and really everyone deserves to be listened to. So that in, add that to team and culture and that's pretty much what we created here. That good? Yeah. Jason's got this saying, if you haven't broken something, you haven't tested hard enough. A lot of testing going on here, a lot of innovating. They're creating some amazing safety solutions and possibilities for industry. One crazy pipe crawling or wall crawling robot at a time.